The cheetah cubs have been out in the large yard with mom for about a month now. Um, they are doing very well, um, getting agile, um, climbing the stump and mound and checking things out and seeing other um, adult cheetahs in the pens next door. My name is Lacey Braun. I am the lead cheetah keeper here at Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. Zazie's being a great mother. She's constantly watching out for them um, and protecting them, just um, showing them how to explore the yard and play together. The male cheetah cub is very um, feisty. He, he loves to check things out and um, get into trouble. He's a troublemaker. Um, the female is more of a mama's girl. Um, she does run around and play with her brother as well, but she um, definitely goes to her mom when she's unsure about something. We can tell them apart because the male cheetah cub has a big white tip on the end of his tail and the female doesn't have much of a white tip on the end of her tail. Um, and the male cheetah cub is also shaved on both sides of his hips. I am Adrienne Crozier. I am a cheetah biologist and we are at the Smithsonian's Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia. The cheetah cubs are very healthy. They just had their third vaccinations and they got a clean bill of health from the vet staff. Um, they're growing normally. Um, they're about six and a half and just over seven kilos now. So the male is definitely bigger than the female at this point by several pounds and you can kind of tell visually that, that he's bigger than her. The cubs are still nursing from mom. Um, they are three months old now, but the mother cheetah will stop lactating soon and now that they're starting to eat meat, but um, they still will suckle from mom for a while yet. They are eating Natural Balance, which is um, a carnivore diet. It is um, beef with um, vitamins mixed in. I've started training the cheetah cubs to eat from me um, so that if I need to give them medication, I am able to do that. Also, I'm training them to step on the scale to be weighed, and I will start crate training them soon as well. Amani actually had a very strong estrus a few weeks ago, and she made it um, pretty obvious to us and to the males that she was receptive for breeding. And we bred her four times over two days with our male Saurus. And that was the first breeding ever for him. Um, so we're really, really hopeful that she'll be pregnant and uh, give birth to a normal size litter this year.